Sorry, I've had to stop that. This is Timber Turtle and I've said something very, very wrong. The other day on the Aussie Perspective stream, I said something really stupid. I said that surface area was a one dimension and that is just wrong on so many dimensions, particularly two of them. So for penance, I thought I'd better start doing my homework. Let's start. The mention is, if there's one point, it has zero dimensions. If there is a line drawn between two points, that is one dimension. If there becomes a shape, that has two dimensions. And if it becomes a solid, that has three dimensions. Tim, get that in your head. I think you've got that. The trick is the next one. If you take that 3D shape, you take each of the areas of each of the faces, that will create the surface area. And that surface area is 2D. Now Timbo, write that out a thousand times. The surface area is 2D. 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 Okay, I think we're starting to get it in my head now. Yes, I do have an understanding of area. And I'll go a little bit into how we do area in civil engineering. Civil engineers are pretty basic and lazy, for the one most part. We consider all quadrilaterals the same. So for an area of a quadrilateral, it's A times B. B is a square, rectangle, or rhombus, or parallelogram. If we take the area of a circle, it's, for a full circle, we use pi r squared, like everybody else. We often have in circles that are not the full circle. In that case, we use half theta times r squared, theta being in radians, and that will give us the area of the part circle. Very rarely do we use this, but it's a good trivia question to know. If you have an lisp, if you take the area of pi times a times b, which is a half of each there, you'll get the area of an ellipse. Now this is the one that's the most important. If you take the area of a triangle, most people could treat that as half the, area, the base times the height. And that will give you the area, no doubt about it. We can use something different when we're doing software. It makes it a little bit easier, where we don't have to worry what the base is. If we use S as being basically the perimeter, A plus B plus C, and divided by 2, and then use a formula of the area equals the square root of s, s minus a, s times s minus b times s minus c, you'll actually get the area. The trouble is the earth is not flat. It's very complex and irregular. You can see from this parcel of land that the actual landform is going to create a surface area far greater than the plane area. When I started and before computers, we would use the contours to calculate the surface by using mean and area. It used to take us days, now we can do it in seconds. And as you can see, if I zoom on this and get rid of the contours, that our surfaces are made up of lots of tiny, tiny triangles. And from earlier, you now know how to calculate the area of a triangle. So do that a million times and you'll have the surface area of a shape. So do I have a good excuse for what I said? Not really. Our shapes are much more complex than I've shown here. And for simplicity, we treat surface area as a single attribute. Amongst many, we apply to our objects. So this is Timbo Turbital saying, sorry. Try not to do it again. And see you later.